Beloved Masters, we have told you that you are the in-breath of the Creator. These are unprecedented times whereby you have the potential to resolve all past karmic issues, to move into harmony with your vaster being and to be an integral part of our Father or Mother God's plan for the expansion of this sub-universe. Are you ready, once and for all, to let go of all the old restrictions, beliefs and limitations that are keeping you from moving out of the quagmire of pain, lack and suffering? Will you allow your mind and heart to open to the higher wisdom of your soul and spirit? The ethers, or higher vibrational fields of consciousness, are filled with vast potential just waiting to be molded into your greatest dreams and desires. Once again, we will review some of our teachings from the past to assist you to understand the complex journey of the soul every human being is in the midst of, whether it be at an entry level of awareness or as an advanced disciple on the path. There comes a time when the soul has reached the furthermost point of its experience in separation, fragmentation of self and co-creation. The soul entity is then ready to begin the process of reunification and integration for the current cosmic round of creation. The soul self is gradually infused with a divine discontent which slowly filters into the consciousness of the human mind. Hopefully, that is when the human entity begins to turn inward, to tame the ego personality and reconnect with the soul, the resident oversoul or higher self, as well as with the multiple facets of its greater self. Humanity is in the midst of a mass awakening. A transformation of mass proportions has begun, which involves a global, galactic and sub-universal reunion, the beginning of an ascension into a heightened state of creator or spirit-infused consciousness. At a cosmic level, the Supreme Creator is now sending down the radiance of itself via the Great Central Suns, which is being filtered down upon Earth in great bursts of living white fire essence of life through the Sacred Heart Core of our Father or Mother God by way of the Sun of this Solar System. The soul could be described as a small seed atom of pulsating life force energy which resides within the Sacred Heart, along with your multifaceted Diamond Core God Cell. Your Diamond Core God Cell contains the twelve rays of God Consciousness for this sub-universe, the virtues, qualities, aspects and talents that you are seeking to activate once more so that you may become the proficient co-creator on the material plane that you were designed to be. The soul may be only a small spark of life within the heart area in those who are still ensnared in the illusion of the lower dimensions, however, as it blooms and blossoms into its full dynamic power, it expands and becomes the solar heart center, which encompasses the solar plexus, the heart, the thymus, and throat area. In the past it was called the threefold flame, and the heart has been called the seat of the soul. The soul communicates to you via both your emotional and your mental bodies, the emotions through the heart center and with the mind via the pineal gland, thereby igniting the packets of light wisdom stored within the higher vibrational portions of the brain called the sacred mind. When the connection is complete, the physical vessel begins to reap the rewards by way of better health and vitality, as well as a deeper connection with the body elemental. We tell you empathetically that you cannot become a lost soul or lose your connection with the Creator. You may lose your way, and you may become diminished in Creator light, but your soul is immortal and can never be lost or destroyed. You save yourself from pain, suffering and the illusion of being disconnected from the Creator through the integration of your soul, the multiple facets of your higher self and your personal God Ray. The mass consciousness belief structure of the past is slowly being replaced with lighter, more refined and liberating thought forms of the new divine plan. It is important that you understand that there are many levels on the spiral of ascension it is never ending as creation ebbs, flows and evolves. At a cosmic or omniversal level, you are spirit a facet or a seed atom of divine essence sent forth from the heart core of the Supreme Creator. At that level, you are fully conscious of who you are and of your connection with the Supreme Creator, you are aware of and know your I Am identity. At the universal and sub-universal levels, you are a divine co-creator, once more sent forth on a great refracted ray of light to manifest worlds without end in the name of our Father or Mother God. You are aware of the overall divine plan for this sub-universe and the part you are to play in it, however, 
you may or may not remember your origins or identity at a cosmic level. As spirit, which we will call your God Ray, you are a great being of light who also sent forth facets or sub-rays of yourself, leaving over souls or parts of your essence in different dimensions, galaxies, star systems and worlds throughout this sub-universe, and in turn, each of these great oversouls also sent forth sparks or soul fragments of their essence. The you now incarnated in a physical body on planet Earth is one of those soul sparks who agreed to journey forth into the unknown void, to create diverse worlds, to inhabit them, and then to experience what you helped to create so that your unique experiences can be incorporated into the universal consciousness and ultimately into the cosmic mind. When your physical vessel was first created, the etheric body sent forth billions of tiny elemental sparks throughout the bodily form. These elemental sparks were programmed to convey the adamantine particles of light, the gift of life, to all the different parts of the body, the organs, the bloodstream, muscles, tissue and bone structure, much as the nature elementals transmit the adamantine particles of sunlight to all of the nature kingdom, and any facets of creation which are not ensouled with a sacred seed atom of creator consciousness. The master teachers of the past often made reference to the human body elemental and the etheric body or etheric web. The deep, esoteric teachings of the past were often written so that only the most advanced students on the path could decipher the true meaning of the lessons. It is time that those teachings are revealed, upgraded and simplified so that all serious souls on the path of ascension can understand, and then gradually integrate them in order to expand their conscious awareness. Gaining the advanced knowledge and then integrating the wisdom from the universal teachings of the higher realms are vital components in the process of ascension. The ancient teachings said that your physical bodies were originally created from etheric substance. You first came to earth in your radiant crystalline form, and gradually over many ages you developed your beautiful physical body from the Adam or Eve Cadman divine blueprint for this sub-universe. The distortions began as you sank into the density, and the ego desire body gradually took control of the mental and emotional bodies, this resulted in a good portion of your soul self withdrawing from your sacred heart center into your soul star above the crown chakra. In addition to the four recognized elements fire, water, earth and air ether is said to be the fifth element, thus comes the name etheric. The etheric body or etheric web, which is much finer in substance than the earthly body, refers to the invisible counterpart of the physical body. It holds the blueprint for your three lower physical bodies, physical, mental and emotional. It is sometimes called the memory body for it sustains and vitalizes the material form. It is susceptible to your thoughts and emotions, both positive and negative. Disease or debilitation occurs first in the etheric body and then gradually infiltrates into the physical vessel. The etheric body sustains and vitalizes the components of the physical body, and it controls the digestive and assimilation processes. It also repairs the damage in the physical body caused by the wear and tear of living in the third or fourth dimensional density. There was a fail-safe program encoded within the etheric body so that when you sank so deeply into the density and you were nearly to the point of self-destruction, your body elemental cells went into a semi-dormant state, and they have remained in that state for thousands of years. Just as you are awakening to your true nature and your divine state of being, so are the body elemental cells awakening, and they are gradually beginning to respond to your positive affirmations and the higher frequencies of light you are integrating. It is vitally important that you understand that there are subatomic dark crystals throughout the bodily form of everyone who resonates to the lower frequency thought forms. These crystals are packed with negative waste material created and recreated over many lifetimes some of which are inherited negative patterns that you brought with you into the physical form to heal. The subconscious mind your subjective mind is part of the etheric body consciousness, and it records and stores everything you experience, what you see, hear, think and feel emotionally. The subconscious mind takes everything literally, and it does not matter if you have experienced an event or just imagined it vividly, the subconscious mind registers it as fact. That is why it is so important to change negative, debilitating, past memories into positive memories. 
your thoughts and intentions resonate to specific frequencies, and by changing the frequency patterns you project through the use of willpower and conscious effort, you will gradually create the life, physical health and circumstances you desire. You will become aware of your physical body consciousness as your body elemental wakes up, so to speak, and begins to work harmoniously with you to gradually correct all the miscreations you have created in your bodily form due to erroneous thoughts. Over time, you will gradually become more sensitive to your body elemental signals. Your body cells are all conscious to one degree or another. Some are disharmonious and create chaos and discomfort within, while others resonate in harmony, thereby vibrating at a higher frequency and conveying a sense of balance and well-being. Metabolizing light is an important, intricate process that is necessary for your well-being. You might say that you have been on a starvation diet of half-spectrum god light. Your trillions of bodily cells must relearn how to recognize and utilize light as a vital energy source. The reality of the senses or physical body consciousness, when you are in the flow of spirit, you will exist very lightly in your body, often with no pain or discomfort. You may experience some diminished bodily sensations, except within the solar power center and especially within the deep sacred heart area where you will gradually begin to feel loving bliss and joy as they blaze forth from our Mother or Father God. More and more frequently you will experience a great sense of well-being, harmony and peace. Dear hearts, we ask you to study what we have revealed to you over the years, and to endeavor to get the universal schematic we have created firmly established within your mind so that you will be able to understand and implement the next phase of the wondrous cosmic events which are unfolding before your eyes. Your goal is to integrate the higher mental body, which is you enlighten at yourself for this round of evolution. In order to accomplish this, you must bring the ego desire body into alignment with your soul's desires. You can use force and resist or you can tap into the transforming power of love. Strive to tap into the willpower of self-mastery, which is the combined wisdom of your sacred heart, sacred mind and your oversoul or higher self. Spirit without matter is motionless. Matter without spirit is lifeless. You are passing from a time-oriented world into a timeless reality. My brave ones, we know there can be much pain, discomfort and fear as you move through these accelerated processes which are causing the dramatic changes now taking place throughout your world. Know that together we will overcome all adversity. Our mission is to open the way for any dear soul who expresses a desire to return to harmony. Know that each of you is making a difference. When you doubt, need inspiration or strength, come into your personal pyramid of light and we will give you courage, lift you up and inspire you. When you feel lonely or unloved, move into your sacred heart center and we will be waiting there to fill you with the radiant love of our mother or father God. I am Archangel Michael.